Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening to you all. Uh, I pray that as we are preparing to share tonight, I pray that everyone is basking in the blessings of God. Uh, what a beautiful day it is. A little hot out maybe, but uh, it has been a, a beautiful day visually anyway. And uh, we just thank God. But this is a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So we are thankful uh, for another day's journey. Um, praising God for another another chance to share tonight. As I customarily do, good evening to Ben, Miss Pat. Good evening to you all. Uh, glad to have you all with us along with others here. Um, as, as I customarily do, I just want to take a moment to call uh, a few names in prayer. Um, if I if there is someone else that uh, whose name I need to call or if there's someone's name that I don't call, we understand that God is sovereign and, and God will cover every situation. But if there's uh, someone else uh, who you wish to call out in prayer, uh, please feel free to put their name in the chat and um, and we will by all means do our very best to get back to uh, that name. And if we miss it, uh, charge it to our heads and not our hearts, as we like to say. And uh, we will be sure to go back and look and, and to be calling uh, that name or those names in prayer as well. But I do want to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I do want to just uh, continue to lift up uh, my family, uh, yet another passing in our family, my uh, my great aunt, my my maternal grandmother's uh, sister, uh, Miss Mamie Williams, uh, she has passed away. That funeral will be on Monday, and uh, uh, we we continue to to just lift up uh, all of all of each other. Amen. We just continue to lift up each other in prayer, uh, believing God for comfort and peace. Uh, we're continuing to to uh, call the name of Brother Jeff Lambert. Continuing to believe tonight. I want to divide it. We fall. Amen. Divide it. We fall. And uh, there are are two areas of scripture that I want to share with you. Actually, uh, I'm going to share with you uh, from the topic that you all same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that you may be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Again, that is uh, 1 Corinthians, the first chapter and the 10th verse. I also read Philippians, the fourth chapter and the 13th verse. And I pray that however you're with us tonight, or wherever you're with us, or whatever platform you're using, that you will join us in saying amen and amen. To God be the glory. I also want to pray for the daughters of Zion as they travel uh, this evening. I don't, I'm don't. i sure they're uh, busy in the moment. They're probably not watching or listening in this moment, but we pray for them. We pray for a, a mighty hand of God to move on their venture this weekend. Praise be to God. But we're sharing from the topic, Divided We Fall. And um, I, I want to jump right into scripture because I want to I want to begin tonight um, by just going straight to Philippians 4 and 13. Paul writes to Philippi. He says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And, and there's something that I want to do with this scripture. I want to take a moment with this particular verse. And I want to take a moment to explain to us or speak the same things, explaining his ability to do any and everything on his own. Uh, nor did he just say Christ. Uh, strengthens me. And, and though that is a true statement, Christ does strengthen us. But but if he had just said that, uh, then he would not have had what my English teacher used to call an antecedent. Uh, he would not have not have had uh, that explanation beforehand uh, to describe what it is that he needed strength for. But Paul puts the phrasing together and he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I share that with you tonight because I want us to understand uh, that all of us, any and every one of us, regardless of of where you are, regardless of what you do, regardless of your gender, uh, regardless of your racial uh, makeup, regardless of your educational background, all of us have an innate ability within us to accomplish great things. Jeremiah 29 and 11, uh, uh, the, the, the scripture says, uh, he says, I, I know the plans that I have for you, uh, plans to, and I'm paraphrasing, plans to prosper and do great things. And so God has let us know through his holy scripture that, that he, he knows the plans that he has for us. He also says other places in scripture, he says, uh, he says, before I formed thee in the belly of thy mother's womb, I knew thee. And so not only does, does God let us know through his holy instruction that, that he has planned for us, uh, plans for us, but he also informs us that the plan that he has for us is not one that he developed over time as we were growing, but the plans that he has for us are plans that he had from the very conception uh, the very thought of us, God had a plan. And it's important that we understand that because it's important that we understand that there is nothing that we can do outside of the will of God. 
Now, I, I want to make sure that I'm clear on this. Uh, I'm not saying that we cannot be outside of the will of God because uh, because because God created us. He gave us free will. And so he gave us the ability to be outside of his will. Um, but but at the same time, I want us to understand that we cannot accomplish anything uh, without the power of God. And that's important for us to understand, because oftentimes we get to a place in our humanistic mindset. We get to a place where we begin to feel like uh, we're we're uh, we're invincible, that we can do anything that we want to do and we can do it however we want to do it. And we can uh, like Burger King, we can have it our way. And we, we get to that place where we uh, we begin to move and to operate and to function as if as if our lives are our own, as if as if the things that we do and the places that we go are our own choices. But but Paul wrote to, to Philippi, he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so I share that with you tonight because I want us to understand that everything that we do, uh, er everything that we have the ability to do, uh, we are able to do through and by uh, the strength that is then what Paul would have been doing is he would have been able to go through some trouble, shadow of a doubt that it is God you're following. If you know without a shadow of a doubt that is the Holy Spirit of God that is leading, but you know without a son of man walking tells us that they didn't even smell like smoke. And I share with you in this moment, some of you are going through some things right now and you feel like you're in the midst of the fire, but you're just being purified and in the midst with them. And when they came out, the Bible and God uh, and God, the Holy Spirit, we understand that. And oftentimes we focus on, on one person of the Godhead, uh, never taking a moment to understand that they are all three equal in deity. In other words, they are all God, but our access to God is through Christ Jesus. Why is our access to God through Christ Jesus? Well, because we are sinful in nature, we are sinful in action, and it is through the and God the Son, God the Father, God the Son, things through Christ. What we have to remember to do is as we're pressing, as we're speaking, as we're sharing, as we're doing, we have to make sure that we are always consulting Christ, that we are always working through Christ. We don't want to go ahead of him, and, and we don't want to fall away from him, but we want to make sure that when we do things, we are always uh, considering the example of Christ, uh, reading and studying and applying the word of God to our lives so that we can continue to understand that regardless of Christ who strengthens me. And so what to be divided, so divided. We have to make sure that we stay with Christ, that we continue to walk with him, that we continue to move with him. And not only do we continue to do we need to continue to walk with then we're going to fall is the word of God. What the God and oftentimes what we do is we get uh, we get so caught up in ourselves that we forget to consult God about what it is that we need to speak and what it is that we need to say and what it is that we need to do. The speaking is, is the encouragement of to use those differences to separate us. But I share with you in this moment, divided we fall. And if we don't get it together, and I'm not I'm not even talking about the world right now. I'm talking this is in belief. Amen. If we don't cut then divide it, we fall. And here's the thing. When we fall, the only place you're going to fall is hell. And so we have to make sure that we get to the point where we start to work together. And and, and here's a novel idea. I, I know this, <laughs> this sounds far-fetched, but here's a novel idea. What would happen if we as men and women who profess to love Christ Jesus, uh, but we have different ideologies about how we think or different ways of worship, what would happen if we would sit down together and we would pull out God's holy holy Bible. If we would pull out God's instruction, that mess out. When I say uh, sister, that you see every day, but we are so busy trying to make sure that we are right, and we are so busy trying to make sure that we are recognized, and we are so busy trying to make sure that we're in charge, and we are so busy trying to make sure that we sound holy, that we're gonna go to hell trying to look holy instead of going to heaven for being holy. And I want to just share with you all tonight that we have to get to the place where we start to work together, where we start to love on each other. I don't care whether you're male, female, black, white. I know this going to hurt some folks. I don't care if you're straight, gay. I don't care what you are, what your orientation. If we start to work together, maybe we can learn from each other in a manner that we can love each other. And maybe if there are issues within any of us that are outside of the will of God, and man, maybe, just maybe, if we would sit down and love each other and learn from each other and talk to each other and work together, maybe we can all get to a place where God can be glorified in our lives. 
but we are so busy hating on each other for what it is that we're doing. I, I'll be the first one to admit there are some lifestyles. There are some things that I don't agree with. Amen. But but God never said love the love just the people. Amen. Who, who agree with you. Amen. When he said, go, you therefore teach all nations. He said all nations. In other words, uh, the word of God is available to be taught to anyone. And maybe just maybe if we would stop all this, stop trying to spend all this money and stop trying to put all this legend legislation in place. Amen. To limit people in what they do. And we would spend that money and spend that time trying to bring people together and to love people so that we can be a loving and caring nation that works together for the betterment uh, amen, and, and for the glory of God. If we could do that, amen, then the division that you can't love the brother in Christ, amen, with each other. Why? Because that's what the Holy Spirit of God, amen, instructed men and uh, men, men to write down in the Holy Scriptures. We got to also love on each work together and we fall. And if we fall, the only place we can go is hell. And I don't want to lift up my eyes down there. I want to I want to get to a place one day, whenever my time comes, I want to get to the place where I can look my Savior in the eye and I can hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you ruler of many. Praise be to God. If you are here tonight, if you are with us tonight, and you don't know Christ Jesus as your personal Savior, we invite you to come. If you are here tonight and you've lost your way, we invite you to come. Obviously, we're virtual in this broadcast. And so I invite you to reach out to us through our website, kingdomnc.org. And if we don't start working together, then divide it with things that he has blessed, blessed evening. And we continue to lift you up in prayer. Hezekiah Walker sang the song. I won't sing it, but I'm going to say it. I'll pray for you. You pray for me. We're all a part of God's body. It is done. You all have a, uh, but come on out. AM. We're at the Zebulon Middle School Auditorium, 1000 Shepherd School Road. Zebulon, North Carolina. Come on out and, and worship with us. Come on out and praise with us. Amen. Come on out sharing the word with us. Amen. Come on out and glorify God with us. Amen. Tamaki, that's your invitation, brother. Come on out and join us. Praise be to God. We love you. Uh, have a smile upon you. Have a wonderful evening. Central Radio Show broadcasting every Monday at 12 p.m. and 2 o'clock a.m. Central. We hope you enjoyed the message, inspired by the message, and know that, you know, we make mistakes, but we keep going. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, we'll be back here again next Monday, 12 noon. Hit that share button let somebody know we're here. We want to thank all of those listeners from around the world. We say thank you so much. Peace.